What's up, YouTube? This your boy MZ from MZ Talks Box. Let's talk about it. As of right now, we got Sean Porter, Kenny Porter, Terrence Bud Crawford, and the trainer uh, Bo Mack. Now, everyone is clamoring. It's almost like they're trying to bully this fight upon Terrence Crawford and Sean Porter. And if you're just looking at it like that, it seems that way. But I'm starting to see some little things that's playing out that's, that's kind of bugging me a little bit. And here's the thing. Sean Porter and Terrence Crawford both say they're friends and they won't fight. No one's going to make them fight. And all these good things, if they fight, it's going to be because they sat down and talked about it. And, and there. Okay, I get that almost but um then all of a sudden Kenny Porter is doing interviews and putting it out on social media that he's waiting for the call and then he's talking you know y'all make the call you know because he is Sean Porter's trainer manager and pretty much promoter you go through Kenny to get to Sean when it's time to fight. Now, if Terrence and Sean already told us that they're not going to fight unless they sit down and talk about it, and that's the narrative that Terrence Crawford's team is pushing and top rank, well, you know, Bob, he, he's really talking about trying to get the fight. So you got Bob talking about trying to get the fight. And then you got Kenny Porter coming out saying he hasn't got the phone call. So if Bob wants to make the fight and Kenny is saying he hasn't gotten the phone call, Bud is staying true to his word as far as saying he's not going to fight Sean. What I can't understand is why would Sean Porter let his dad go on social media and scream about not getting the call to make the fight? That part right there is truly bothersome because I'm trying to understand, you know, if it's understood between the fighters. And we all heard the fighters say that it's understood between them. Why is this dude's dad coming out talking like they waiting so they can sign these papers and get this fight going? Now, let me ask you. You're fighting for legacies. And the way I look at it, it came down to fighting. If it came down to fighting, the only people that would be protected if we were in the same weight class and we were fighting would be my mama's other sons, which would be my brothers, if they fought and I fought at the same weight class. And maybe a cousin, but it got to be a cousin like my auntie, my mama's only sister, one of her kids you know, that I grew up with. Okay, I can't put hands on him. But if it's a cousin that I don't know, girl, I'm going to put paws all on that dude and beat the belt up out of him. Because that is what this is about, right? Winning fights, becoming champions, and unifying and being undisputed. These are the words that I heard these fighters say. So whatever friendship you got, and you always screaming about not being able to fight other fighters from across the street. Well, here's a bridge across the street. What are you going to do with it? What do you think?